What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of Parasite. Episode 4. Oh. Bitch. Ah. I feel like there's something sharper than a hat. Anyway. Um. So. Um. Last time on Parasite I actually edited this today so it's fresh. <clears throat> and I'm having some OCD. Sorry. So that's going to be kind of annoying. Ooh, I'll just put it there. I'll pick it up later. Um, it was like a, it was like a plastic that went over my camera's camera when I first got it. Um, so Shinichi and me are gonna try to fight Mr. A. Um, he like broke into the school and was like murdering people because he sees Migi and um Shinichi as a threat. Um, so. That's kind of where we're at now, um, and yeah, and now, because I did that, I probably fucked my hat up. I feel like I have hair sticking out under it, let me see. La -da, I do. Look at that, I would record the whole video like that. Ooh, oh, my hair is stuck in the Velcro. Uh -uh. Oh, I'm a mess today, motherfucker, dude. <laughs> Dang. Where's your weapon at? Yeah, you gotta become more like me. So what was the plan? Yeah, they didn't show us last time. Ah. Okay, so you attack. You, Shinichi. Hmm. Yeah, but where should he attack? Like, would the core be in his... Should he just go for the heart? This would kind of suck because he's probably right-handed, so... I don't know if he's going to fight well with his left. Maybe he's not. Maybe he's left-handed. Or he's ambidextrous. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> Look, you're walking right through. Go, go, go. <laughs> Oh, it's hidden behind him. I forgot. I just saw it. Yeah, in his pants. He did say, keep it concealed. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. Does it? I mean, that is a lot of blood, bro. Yeah, this is a learning experience. Let's see. Oh. Can you? Mm hmm. I thought he was gonna do something. Mm. He's already dead, Shinichi. Just think of him like a zombie. No way, no way! What? What? Will she let you, though? That's the question. I don't know if she will. I wouldn't. You're stupid. Dude, don't share it with him. Don't. <gasps> she might just kill you herself. Oh, she dipped. She said a bomb. Those are gonna blow up, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't fuck with her, bro. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say, the fact that he was still able to push hard enough to get that in, like, I would have been so scared I probably wouldn't have used enough force. She's still pregnant? Wow. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so, dude. I don't think so. Yeah, so you'd kill the baby. 
で周囲にいるのにつまりお前も含め特に生かしておく理由はないわけだなぜ人を殺せるのか僕は人間の命で生きているつまり普通の人間の食べ物でだお前らだって人間を食料にしなくても生きられるんじゃないのか I would think so 多分可能だろうな But you choose not to 私が人間の脳を奪った時一つの命令が来たぞこの種を食い殺せ。That's what all of them are gonna say, or is that just what she? she is that just what her instinct or directive is? Are they? They all seem to want to kill humans. Well, well, I should say their own kind, carnivorous. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Just eat the baby. <laughs> what did I say? Oh my god. Ah,、uh, what did I say? Huh? Bro, bro, bro. I'm scared for you, dude. This, this girl wants you dead. Because he. Oh, you bitch. That's twisted. Oh, it reminds me of something I've seen where I don't know what I was watching, but like the killer would only kill people. Oh, it was. It was oh, what, what's it called? That thing? The Bruce Willis spinoff? Oh, freak. Pause, 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 pause. What that? Oh, the, the beast thing. Oh, gosh, I cannot remember what it's called. Oh, the actor who plays、um, Professor Xavier, like the younger version of him, plays it. The beast. God, what's the movie called, though? Where he's got a bunch of different like, personalities.、Um, he had, like, the beast thing would only kill people who had never, like, suffered. Like, he did, like, Something like that. And so she's like, oh, you're not so pure anymore. I guess I won't kill you. That's so totally what it reminded me of. Oh. Ew, that's so weird. Why? Because now you feel like he's more like you? But why does that matter to you so much? Now he doesn't seem as much like a threat. Maybe you think he'll start to understand and won't want to kill you as much. I don't know why. But for some reason, she doesn't see him as threatening anymore. Like, not as threatening. Not as annoying. Um, uh, she's gonna be probably, I'm gonna guess that she's probably gonna be one of his main antagonists. Oh my god, dude, dude, dude. Let me lock him in because he's getting some. He wants in here so bad. Um, so I think that, um, She's probably not gonna like completely let him go. She might keep tabs on him. I'm not sure.、Um, oh, I don't know, man. She is a problem. I, that, that thing where she's like, oh, you're not as pure, so I'll let you go, really, really just got to me, dude. That really just like, I don't know how to explain. Like, it just. It was so twisted and so fucked up. And I still don't really quite understand why that she feels that way. Like, why that's so important to her. But I like it. I like that it's complicated like that. I want to know more about her, you know? I want to know more about this species, but like, particularly her. Because they're all different, right? <laughs> Are you gonna kill her own mother? If she's a nuisance? I wonder if you'll come to care for a human. Oh! <gasps> she's dead. Dude, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill this lady? Yep, you left her no other choice. You gotta go, bitch. Hmm. Hmm. 
Wow, she knew you were not her real daughter. Can't fool the mother. It's instinct, something you just know deep down. Like you could tell when something's off with somebody that you care about. Or maybe it's not just people you care about, but like your kid. Your kid, you know what I mean? He did eat your arm, so if he left, he completely separated himself from your body! <gasps> Don't scare me! <笑>まあ、せいぜい3分だな。分離して移動の実験だ。移動? <laughs> の、くらわずに成熟してしまっては全身の操り方がわかる。でも一か八かやってみるか。そう。Don't <笑> Uh, he did try, the other guy did. そうだな。しばらくは留守番を頼むな。いつも仕事仕事でお父さんと旅行するなんてほとんどなかったから。でも危なくない。人気殺人のことか。鍵は数も減ったし、別に心配ないだろうが。数が減ってるのは表向きだ
I wonder if you're gonna care about that baby. <laughs> it moved. Dude, I wonder once she has it. Once she has that baby, is she gonna feel protective over it? Like she's not just gonna eat it. I mean, the baby is human. You did take over a human's body. Humans have certain instincts. I mean, the brain is gone, but maybe that doesn't really have anything to do with your brain, you know? I, I don't know. Just is. Uh, I don't know. I kind of feel like that might happen where she might actually care. I just feel like it's not impossible for them to feel affection towards another person that has nothing to do with their own survival. Like, Nigi might actually come to care about somebody other than um, Shinichi. I mean, maybe it'll just be Shinichi that he comes to care about. Like, but I feel like it won't really mean much unless it comes to a point where... What's his um, name? What was I about to say? Uh, hang on, hang on. So I feel like it won't really matter or have any significance or weight unless, you know how he just did that experiment where he could like detach himself from his body? Obviously it's possible for the, based on prior experiences with other parasites, it's possible for parasites to leave their original host and share a body or a brain maybe, whatever. Um, so maybe... Maybe we'll come upon a situation where he could just go be part of somebody else and at, to no, at no cost to himself, right? Like, it, there's no risk. Yet he still decides to stay with Shinichi because he cares about him. That would have some weight to it. But I think it would be cool if we saw him care about somebody outside of himself and Shinichi, like maybe caring about... Shinichi's parents or one of his friends that girl that he likes. I forgot her name, but that would be cool um, Ryoko is a problem. She's a savage bro. She What did he say? She has two different um Morphs, I think he called them morph types uh, Which is cool uh, but she also knows how to use them well and she's smart but like she just really, at first I was like, oh, she's not a problem. Like, as long as you don't provoke her, it's fine. But she, I don't know. Like, she's just, oh, it's it's scary because I just feel like you don't know when she's going to flip. Like, she could be cool, calm, and collected and all of a sudden, like, super hostile. I mean, she was going to let the mom go. Oh, this kind of messed up. She was going to let the mom go. But, um... But the mom knew she knew something was not right like that's her daughter a mother's intuition a mother knows when something's not right with their kid I guess and she had to silence her because I can't afford for you to out me lady so you, you got to go <laughs> so I mean I get it it's sad it's unfortunate but I get it I and mean, really she didn't have much of a choice obviously she would have rather that she didn't have to kill her I'm sure but honestly because maybe just because it's like less messy, but like, she's not like she actually cared about the lady. That's the thing that kind of sucks. Like, I mean, it sucks for us. For them, it's great. You know, no emotional attachments means like nothing can hold you back. No weaknesses outside of yourself, you know, but. <sighs> no, no one to use his leverage. It's great. I can't even say like, oh, is that lon isn't that lonely though? Because I don't know if they really feel, they don't feel anything like that. Hmm? Um, what else? So, A is dead. He killed him a lot easier than I, well, I'm just saying I thought Shinichi would struggle more. But, I mean, she finished him. Ryoko finished him. Oh, man, I'm still not past fact that she's like, oh, you're not as pure as you once were. I guess I'll let you live. Is it really just because she saw him as like them now? Not as much of a threat? Like, if you're more like us, you'll be less inclined to open your mouth? Because now you are... Your hands are bloody as well. You know, they're not clean. So if you want to out me, I can out you. You killed somebody. Too, so... Hmm... 
Maybe she thinks, like, now she's kind of, like, got something on him. Or maybe it's not just that. Maybe it's, like, now we're birds of a feather. I see you as one of my kin now, so I'm not gonna, like... Because, I mean, honestly, he's really not a threat to her. Because she knows he's not going to open his mouth and say anything. But, because he'd be, like, outing himself as well. But, I don't know. Maybe. But I just feel like it's it's a culmination of things. It's, she kind of sees him as one of them now. But also, it's like. Well, you've killed somebody too, so if you want to take me down, you're going to have to, based on, like, your own principles and your own moral code, you have to turn yourself in as well, don't you? But not that you would. We're kind of, um, selfish. <laughs> um, what else happened this episode that I want to comment on? Um... It really seems like they're driving home this whole mother's intuition thing. So I wonder if that's going to be like a bigger thing um, with other characters. Or may maybe not just like a mother's intuition, but just like people in general are going to be able to tell when one of their loved ones is not themselves. Even if a parasite thinks they're doing a good job of pretending. Because you can only mimic to a certain extent. You can mimic maybe mannerisms. You can mimic their appearance. But you have no emotions. Our emotions are a huge part of who we are. If you don't have that, if you don't feel that, people are going to know. Like, I feel like people can tell when people are disingenuous. I mean, for someone to feel nothing at all, I mean, it'd be different if you weren't feeling, like, a certain emotion at a certain time. But, like, for you to feel nothing, like, you have no emotions other than the instinct to survive, like, people are going to notice that. I mean, you're pretty much expressionless all the time. Like, you never smile. Like, are they, are they going to, I mean, you're seemingly unaffected by things that would affect a normal human, like, emotionally. I mean, because they don't really care. Like, nothing bothers them, so... I don't know. Man. I just feel like there are going to be certain tells. And already, like... I don't know if there was a certain tell with her daughter. And that, like, Ryoko's mom. Like, I don't know if there was a certain tell that Ryoko, like, gave away. Like, or there was a certain thing that she didn't do that her that the real Ryoko would normally do, or if it was just instinct on her mom's part, but I was just gonna say, like, look, they don't even have to, like, pick up on little things. It's like, some people just know instinctually, like, their moms, they just know. The girl the, that's interested in Shinichi, can't remember her name, she just knows. That hand is not him. You're Shinichi, right? Right? Like, how? It's cool. I love it. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking so I can put stuff on Patreon. Um, if this is YouTube, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be not bleh, notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. Other than that, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.